I was thinking waffles for breakfast, actually. I mean, maybe, but I've been trying to watch my carbs. You own a waffle iron we never use, though. That's literally the only thing it's made to do. Who could that be? It's Claire. <laughs> oh, it's Claire. <laughs> Hey, are you too decent in there? Can I come in? Claire, I'd like to think I'm better than decent. That's all of that. Look, just come meet me at the library never again. Huh? I wonder what she wants. Must be Claire in the library last night. Also, why did she walk all the way over here instead of just texting us? Claire, you seem suspicious. Oh, yeah, <laughs> Hi, Rack. welcome to the. Uh, oh, hey, Melody. Hi, Mona. Is Claire in right now? Unfortunately, yes. <laughs> in spite of my efforts, Claire has been cooped up in the meeting room B almost non stop since last night. If she gets another coffee stain on the table in there, I swear to God. <laughs> okay, thank you, Mona. <laughs> what do you want to talk to us about, Claire? Did you not notice the whiteboard? Oh yeah, that videotape guy. What about him? Oh, come on. <laughs> I know it's been in, on your mind too. I was kind of trying not to dwell on it, actually. Well, it's kind of hard for me not to dwell on it. So I've been trying to do some research to figure out what exactly it was when we, we saw yesterday. The way reality got all twisted and warped down there, never heard of anything like it. It shouldn't be possible with normal logic. Did you find anything? Admittedly, my resources are limited to my own book collection and what I could find in, all into the, in the public library. What about the internet? I think the library <laughs> Wi-Fi is down today or something. There might be what that kicked me off in the network. But anyway, I couldn't find a single lead. There's no evidence that magic we saw yesterday is possible to possible at that scale. And honestly, that concerns me. Spooky. There's a lot more than just spooky Allison. Whoa, jeez, are you okay, Claire? I'm you fine. Look fine. <laughs> you don't look fine, Claire. You don't know. <laughs> I mean, I, I'd say something remarkable for someone who hasn't slept in twenty-seven <laughs> hours. <laughs> oh no, Claire. Maybe we should get a little rest. <laughs> now is not the time to rest, Melody. <laughs> What if Javis comes back? What if then? What if the next time he has a reason to use the magic of gr on Greenridge? Claire, you were pretty hyped about finding that place yesterday. What's with a change of heart? Look, I loved a good dungeon, and I thought that could I could turn it into a teachable moment. But I don't want that magic anywhere near the actual town. Sorry to interrupt, but what if this Javis guy is still pissed about how he wrecked his labyrinth yesterday? Exactly, I have no idea where he is, what he wants, or ex what exactly he is planning on, on doing next. But if there's one thing we know, it's that his magic could be used for some very, very bad things. So, what are we gonna do about this? Tell fate? No, I propose we do a little recon reconnaissance. reconnaissance. I can't read. Reconnaissance, reconnaissance war. <laughs> we find Javis again and figure out what he's up to. If he seems harmless, we leave him alone. But if he's up to something, well, I guess we'll figure out the game plan when we have more intel. 
We could try putting him under citizen arrest and hand him over to Faye for questioning, I guess. Is that an actually thing we have the authority to do? Are you sure that isn't kidnapping? I don't know, probably. Probably? As in it's probably fine or it's probably kidnapping? Blair, did you just say that we have no idea where Jaffis is? How are we supposed to find him? We have some clues. Whatever he's doing, it seems like he wants to avoid being found. He did specifically say he was interested in the Sapphire Land. Islands. <laughs> if he's still somewhere on the island, then Where? there are only so many places he could be hiding out. All of those places are out in the wilderness are filled with monsters, I'm assuming. They might be. Yeah, I'm not so sure about his plan. We do already know about Javis and his monsters. You know what to expect if we run into another labyrinth. That will make it easier. And I mean, come on. I don't want to bother Faith, that's because we have a vague hunch that a stranger may or may not be a threat to the town. This seems like exactly the type of thing that warrants the fates, actually. Besides, I thought you loved adventure, Salison. Trust me, I do, but this is way more serious than regular treasure hunting and sightseeing. Plus, what about Mel? Mel, you're a great healer. But I don't think you signed up for this guilt, thinking the fate of Greenwich would be on our shoulders one day or uh, on day two. <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm, this is a I'm bit with much. Glenn on kissing. <laughs> Just had our first real fight yesterday. This sounds like a job for someone with more experience, like the Paladin Brigade. I promise it'll be fine, Melody. It's only a recognition. You're not alone. You'd be going. You'd be going with friends, and Jody will be there this time too. She's like an actual trained knight. There's no way she'd let anything bad happen to any of us. Besides, you did great yesterday. You already made so much progress. You can totally handle something like this. You're gonna go looking for Javis, even if we don't go with you, aren't you? I won't force you to endanger yourself. But I mean, yeah, this could be serious, I have to do this. I don't like the idea of you going out there without a healer, so... I guess I'll join you. Thank you, Melody. Mel, are you absolutely sure about this? Like, for real? It's not too late to say no. I don't think we really have a choice here. Well, if Mel's coming, then so am I. All right, then let's go to let's go get Jody. She wasn't at our place when I checked a little bit ago, which was weird. But she's probably just at, at the Tower of Faith, with Faith. Oh, and after that, we should probably stock up on adventuring gear before we head out. Sounds like a plan. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is so exciting. We're finally going on a real mission as a guild. Hi, welcome to... You! <laughs> <laughs> uh <-oh>. <laughs> <laughs> Claire, can I have a word with you about the 57 books that have mysteriously vanished from the magic section? Uh, sorry, I'd love to chat, but the fate of the universe at stake or something, you know how it is. <laughs> Let's get out of here, guys. Hold it. I have something else to talk to you about as well. <laughs> oh? Claire, I given some thought about your proposal. Wow, Claire proposed? I always thought the tension between you two was kinda. 
Addison, don't make me climb over this desk and strangle you. <laughs> Look, Claire asked for my help with a research project. In exchange, she said she'd clear her crap out of the meeting room. Wow, are you actually agreeing to help, Mona? At this point, I'll do anything to get you out of my hair. So yes, Claire. What exactly is this project, Mona? Claire's been collecting data on the monsters these guys have been fighting, and she wants me to help her compile Ooh. it into a bestiary. Hopefully it shows the weaknesses and all that. Admittedly, monsters are kind of a fascination of mine. So oh, assembling a bestiary up. intrigues me. <laughs> anyway, I started putting that together based on the monsters you've faced so far. Here's your copy. Oh Ooh. yeah. Bestiary. I cut open my finger, I didn't even know how. <laughs> If you don't have an appointment, Miss Vincent is a little tied up right now. And by a little, I mean extremely. Well, it was good a personal matter this cast. It's on, it'll only take a second. Is Jody upstairs with her? Not to my knowledge. But if she's popped up in Faith's office and announced without checking it at the front desk, it wouldn't be the first time. If you'd like to schedule a meeting, though, Faith has a few openings next week. Come on, dude. Do we have to go through this every time we come here? We're Fate's closest friends. Just let us talk to her for two seconds. Fine. Give me a sec. I don't think I'll ever be used to this Guardian thing. I miss being able to see Fate more often. And I may she ever gets to leave her office, honestly. You guys just don't understand. This is what it's like to be highly skilled, the witch like me or Faith. Your arcane talents are always in high demand. Careful with the objectives there, Claire. Still, it's a lot of responsibility for a 24-year-old. She must be the youngest guardian in Greenwich history. The second youngest, right? I heard the stories about time when everyone thought it would be hilarious <laughs> to write a baby's name on the bald <laughs> and the baby one. That wasn't that long ago, actually. Was it a baby <laughs> Pepper Leon? Oh no. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> oh dear. Yeah, turn out there were no age requirements for write-ins. Pepper was technically guardian for like a day before they called for a deliver. Aww. <laughs> See, you guys always blame me for everything, but this town was always bonkers long before I moved here. Anyway, Fate's a great guardian, but I'm still convinced she won partially because everyone thought it'd be fitting for the boss of the paladins to be named Fate. <laughs> I mean, yeah. <laughs> Okay, Miss Vincent says you. Uh, Miss Vincent will see you now, but she says to make it quick. Just head up on the elevator. Jody? Oh, thank goodness you're. Oh, she's not with you. Have you not seen her either, babe? No, don't worry. I'm certain she'll turn up, right? It's fine. Uh, uh, everything's fine. Okay, something is definitely up. Say, if your girlfriend is founding member of my guild, and we need her help right now. If something is up with her, then you, you've got to tell me. I'm, I'm sorry, but I have more important things to worry about than your magical hijinks, Claire. No, this time you don't. Fate, come on, we are friends. Be honest with us. What's going on? Look. I don't know where Jodi is, okay? I have no idea where she is and no way of contacting her. Oh dear. So, unless you've got some important news for me, I'm a bit preoccupied. Other than the dude with a VHS tape for a hat who we saw building a dungeon or something and summoning monsters beneath Green Ridge, eh, we've got nothing. Allison, not now. 
person. I appreciate the attempt to lighten the mood, but again, now really isn't the time for jokes. Wait, she is joking, right? <laughs> I really wish she was, but that did actually happen. Okay, let's start over. You met a videotape that was summoning monsters? He thought that his name was Jarvis? He has some sort of weird space distorting magic that seems like bad news. He also said something about having to prepare the Sapphire Alice for before his superior arrives. But we're not sure what he meant by that. Why? Didn't you tell this? Tell me about this. Immediately! As a guardian, it is absolutely vital that I am aware of any all potential threats to the town. And what a dumb responsibility for all this on you. This is our problem and we are taking care of it. Claire, this is exactly the type of thing you should come to me for. I know that poking very scornlessness is kind of an adventurer's job, but if it but if you've bitten off more than you can chew, you need to be honest with me about it. Okay, okay, I get it. So, what do you propose we do here? In light of what you just told me, I'm willing to let you three in on some classified information. <laughs> Provided you keep this in between us, of course. Sure, Faith. You can trust us. Okay. While on patrol yesterday, the paladins noticed some strange, creature, strange creatures around the outskirts of town, hiding in the shadows. Rhett said she had never seen anything like it. They weren't behaving like normal wild monsters. No, they seemed to be... watching us. Do you think that might be related to what we found? Maybe. We don't have much to go on, but it hardly seems like a coincidence. I was hoping that Jody and I could take care of the monsters before anything happened, but when we looked, we found no trace of them. I told Jody to keep looking nearby for any signs of monster activity, while the paladins and I stayed in town in case they returned. That was... About 3 p.m. yesterday. I haven't heard from her since. Have you tried calling her? No reception. Mm. <laughs> Have you Rude. actually checked your phone today? Something's interfering with our reception. Which itself is just another reason to be paranoid about all these strange happenings. Okay, yeah, we are we're already headed to monster territory to investigate Javis anyway. We just look for Jody out there. Well, if you three fill up to the challenge, I suppose we have a plan. Not much of one, but it's better than nothing, right? I'd help look for Jody with you, but I'm afraid the paladins and I can't abandon our post right now. Just promise me you'll be careful and report back to me as soon as you're able, okay? And I have a very bad feeling about all this. I don't know what I'd do if something bad happened to Jody, let alone all four of you. Don't worry, we'll be fine. We just got to her. We just got to head north, grab Jody, figure out what Javis is up to, and come back right to the girl. Easy peasy. Start looking at Amber Woods if I were you. You know how to get there, right? Just head east from the Guardian's Tower, past the shops. Alright, come on, gang. We got work to do. <laughs> okay, let's get this. Hold on, before we leave town, can we stop by Piglet News real quick? I need to tell Beverly I can't make it to work today. No problem. Maybe she grab some food while there. Off to Higgledy Pigledy it is, then. Hi, girls! <laughs> One well, Claire's with you this time. Hi, Claire. Hard. <clears throat> hey, Beverly. 
I just wanted to stop by and tell you I want to be able to make it into work today. Oh, is everything okay? Everything's fine. I just got some urgent adventure business to take care of today. Yeah, we're just off to save Green Ridge and possibly also Jody's life. You know how it is. <laughs> I don't know how that is actually. But yeah, it's fine, Claire. It's pretty dead here today, anyway. Sean and I can handle it. I definitely miss having you around, though. Uh huh. Oh, oh, yeah, me too. <laughs> the blushy face. <laughs> Hold that thought. Gotta get that out of the oven. So, I when are you gonna cigarettes. cut the crap and ask Beverly out, Claire? What? <laughs> <laughs> oh, come on. They're all gay. <clears throat> The little hearts in our dialogue are dead giveaways. <laughs> 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 and I mean, well you obviously like her, right? You always get She's so doing much a shimmer around her. <laughs> She's mm. just cute. very sweet. It's infectious. See? Aww. Look, it's complicated, okay? They're all fucking gay. Yeah, I like Beverly, but I like it. Uh, it'd be weird. She's my coworker. I don't. I don't want to make it weird. So, dating a coworker would make work weird, but wearing your witch gear while waiting on customers and skipping shifts to go fight monsters doesn't. Well, when you say it like that, you make it sound silly. Claire, do you remember what you told me a couple months back when I was crushing super hard in Allison? If you should just talk there. Maybe. You should follow your own advice here. You and I both know it's infinitely easier to give advice than it is to take it. Listen, I, I don't even know how if Beverly likes me. She's all sweet and bubbly around everyone, but that's how she is 24-7. Besides, we what we have going right now is nice. We hang out a lot, and I don't have to experience the crushing pain of being rejected. You'll never know how she feels if you don't talk to Beverly about it. Oh my god, fine. <laughs> okay, sorry about that. Now, what were you saying? I, uh... <laughs> Damn. Damn. <laughs> Hope you have a nice day, Beverly! <laughs> Boy, that sure was out of build-up for a perfectly normal statement. <laughs> <laughs> well, let me know if you need anything else. Food, a nap in one of those guest rooms, you name it. <laughs> yeah, she can. is cute. I, I do relate to Claire. And I do find Beverly also cute, so... <laughs> yeah, you like him fat. <laughs> Shut up! Don't call me <laughs> out no, like this! Now I'm just thinking <laughs> of that art of like the year fat. Amber Woods. No wonder I don't remember ah. Amber Woods. Because it wasn't <laughs> available before. Oh, blocked off. Oh, very whimsical music. Oh my gosh, what happened here? Do you know these two, Mel? Yeah, this is Beth the Beast and Marianne, Marina. I ran into them yesterday. Both of them are aspiring bards. Up to not hurt in there. Claire, do we have a way to do we have a way to get them out? I know. <laughs> I've got score or something, but my fireball's kinda explosive, so it might be do more might do more harm than good. And we don't exactly have the time to try and carefully chisel them out with awesome sword. Oh, idea! Somewhere around here in the park there's an old shrine dedicated to Salile. Salile? As in the sound goes? Yeah, maybe there'll be something that could help us at the shrine. What are we gonna do? We could just go at the sun and got this real nicely if she milled the a block of ice of some for some randos who never prayed to her. I mean, do you have any better suggestions? Okay, let's go do some groveling at the sun shrine. <laughs> <laughs> this 
This is the shrine. Wow, kind of disappointing, not gonna lie. <laughs> I was expecting a statue of Slail or something. I guess I can appreciate a good orb though. But um I mean good. hey just, <laughs> just in time. <laughs> this orb me. is closer to Salau's truth form. <laughs> Uh, gods are weird. The way she appears on the V and stuff could just be for show. Maybe it's not the best idea to call a god's weird when we're trying to get hope from one. Oh, sorry. So, how do I do this? Do I just start talking? Touch Try the touching orb. the orb. Ponder the orb, Melody. Uh, um... Oh, great Soleil, goddess of the sun, and the giver of life. Do people call her that? Throw in something about how cool you think it is that she made the sun. She'll be able to tell if you're trying too hard, too hard to suck up. Um, please, hear our plea. Please, lend us a small fraction of your sun-related powers, so we may help our acquaintances Beth and Mary a Beth and Mary Ina, not to freeze to death. You will be forever in our debt. Uh, amen? Well, that didn't work. Maybe she did something and we just didn't notice. Nah, this is really a show off, we know. She's probably just busy. Well, I guess we're worth a shot. Okay. Hi. <laughs> Boy, Selena just does sell a lot of merch, huh? What does the a goddess need money for anyway? <laughs> I like to imagine she eats it. Hi, you enjoy your time on the shrine? Care to buy a new officially licensed Selena merch to remember your trip? Dude, we're locals, not tourists. We can drop the salesman shtick. Oh yeah, I thought I recognized you. Oh wait, yeah, you guys already know us. I think that's the first time anyone's remembered the name of our guild. You know, it's the middle of summer. Aren't you hot in that big foam costume? Ironically, in spite of being shaped like a sun, it's pretty cool in there. Anyway, if you're not interested in buying anything, I should probably get back to being a walking billboard. That might seem like an odd question, but is any of this merchandise enchanted? I consider all of the quite enchanting myself. No, I mean, do any of them have magical effects? We're hoping to get some help from Soleil on our adventure, but she didn't answer to our prayer. Oh yeah, totally. These keychains can call down beams of sunlight and stuff. Alright. <laughs> Here, don't tell my boss, but I'll give you guys one for free if it'll help you on a quest. <laughs> wow, thank you so much. I'm sure this will help on a quest. Cool. Well, have a good one. <laughs> Wait, actually, now that I think about it, we could have nothing. a... We could have a stream in which all three of us are slag cuts, but I just oh, need God. to run no use this slug. Hey, it worked! Nice work, Mel. Okay, I need a reference for Bestie. <laughs> the one when, where she's tied up is probably not a good reference. <laughs> Most righteous, we are starting to faint on every walk, but it knows us in the block of ice. <laughs> oh yeah, I remember now what you're doing. I actually like saw a body bill walk here, but I think he was running late for his shit at Silver New Stand. It's cool. We understand the importance of punctuality. Are you okay? What happened here? Did she get attacked by a snowbat or something? Oh yeah, we're fine. Thanks to, for, for the save, Melody. It was definitely not a snowbat though. We saw, we saw this mysterious cloak figure lurking in the woods and us two bards fighting for proof and justice, we knew that it was no good. And they tried talking to the cloak figure and then we got frozen. Honestly, mistakes may have been made. 
yeah, I think you might know who's responsible for this. I think we're definitely on the right track there, here. Jodie frees people? We'd better keep investigating. I doubt she can. Yeah, she Right does. on! Well, thanks again for drawing following us out. Out on Svetic. We will split it, actually. We'll be sure to repay a favor song, like Adventure's Code and all that. And we're still around. Wow, surprised it was here today with all the monster activity. That we're because of that actually. Oh yeah, that makes sense. Well, while you're here, feel free to knock some sense into some of these monsters. It'd be a big help. That's not something I would normally expect a park ranger to say. These monsters aren't just normal animals, Melody. They're invasive magical entities, and they're terrorizing the normal fauna of the park. Roughing them up a bit should scare some of them off, though. Trust me, Taylor, I don't need any excuses to kick some monsters, but... In particular, I'd be long on the lookout for this big mean bird who started squatting in the park a few months back. Folks call him the Trash King, that's probably the next boss. Does the nickname come from him having a trashy personality, or...? No, I might... No, I mean he loves to steal garbage. But he'll also straight up attack tourists, adventurers, and the native wildlife if he's in the mood. So I guess he's also kind of a garbage dude, yes. It'd be a big help if you could deal with him. If you head east from here to the mountains, you're bound to run into him. We'll be sure to keep an eye out for this trash king of yours then. Oh, and hey, here's a map of the park for your quest log, just in case you need it. Hell yeah! Thor, does it actually go anywhere? It leads where I think it does, and I should be able to open it actually. It's kind of a restricted area though, so uh, well, don't tell anyone I let you in there. Fast travel? And by anyone I mean Faith. It probably oh, is fast travel. Fast travel, yeah. Oh. Oh. Where I'm are the bees? <laughs> well, yeah. could it be oh. astral plane, you guys? <laughs> I like how everyone is different colors. <laughs> mm -hmm. You've been to the is astral the plane tiger before. Going to be blue? No, you're saying it wrong. <laughs> the, uh, the astral plane. <laughs> Sorry, you've been to the Astro Plane before? <laughs> I'm not letting you to say Astral Plane again until you explain where we are in a way that what a magical novice or that a magical novice like myself will understand. <laughs> I read a little about it while studying paladin spells actually. It's a higher level of reality that's made entirely of magical energy. It's always there, intersecting with the material plane, but we normally can't see it. Magic users have been coming here for ages, although most of it is still in explore. Nerd! <laughs> <laughs> it's a You're bit of simplification, but yeah, basically. Okay, and what exactly are we going to find here? I have no idea, what's the ground? What? The astral <laughs> play of Benoi. There's somebody here, but he's asleep? Oh yeah, that guy, he's always here. I heard he's been here as long as anyone can remember, actually. No idea what his deal is, but people call him the Dream Knight. Is he okay? Should we help him or something? Nah, no, he's still briefing, so he's probably okay. Let's just leave him living be for now. Huh. <laughs> This gate has no lock, but still sealed shut. It's probably intended. Oh, that or it's actually just welded shut and we were being pranked. Wow, trying to open strangers' gates now, huh, Mel? I didn't realize you were turning into such a rebel. I mean, aren't you curious about what's behind this? It's not like I see a house back there. I'm sure that we'll find out eventually if it has any uh, relevance to us. There's a... That's probably the junk bird. Chubby girlfriend. I think that's the trash king guy we were told about. 
Looks tough. Oh, whoops. Ah, 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 <laughs> ah. I'm gonna lay on the floor. <laughs> Let's try talking to him. Huh? Maybe we could get him to leave peacefully. Um, hello there. You're the trash king we heard so much about. <laughs> we didn't have oh, to voice. Oh, sorry, sir. We didn't mean to you. <laughs> yeah, hey. No need to shout, man. We just want to say hello. Guide? <laughs> yeah, it's a thing oh. just a regular bird that no one to pick our asses. Yep. Oh shit. <laughs> uh, what's the trash pile week to? Fire? I guess you can burn trash, right? I mean... It's probably lightning for the bird again. Trash fire. Yeah, I'll imbue you with lightning. Oh, but you did attack the trash bag though, so... I know uh, I did. Yeah, let's see if it's effective on the trash deal with the trash bags first. Kill the minions first. Ooh. Big damage for an AoE attack. I'll de kill the trash man. Burn the other one. Burn the other one. There we go. <laughs> oh, that's a weakness. Bling ah. load. No. It's not uh, fire. I think when you do a. No, oh I do a my skill, god! I think. Spawn you do a skill, I don't think it counts the elemental effect for the attack. <laughs> Spawns back. You burn the trash bags. Oh, let's hope they burn up. Oh. A powerful spell. Uh oh. You're power powering up. You better, you better use the resilience spell. It might what be worth spell? a guard. Resilience. The, the defensive spell. That yeah, I think we're still resilient, are we? Resilience, yeah. <laughs> Peace out. <laughs> Just fears. Do, 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 do. Oh. Fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> you oh. got bamboozled. <laughs> Can you try a high kick again? I just want to see if it works or not. And all if right. it hits. Whoa. Tornado kick. Burning not means so they're weak to ice, though. Oh, that's just a bird. This is the high Yes, Glim. Oh, <laughs> ice cube to the head. Oh no. Bonk. Da, 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 Did he even da, break da, a sweat? Da, da, what do you mean? Easy. Uh, I want to actually read the uh, bestiary of the Trash King. I want to see what his weakness is. Oh, whoops. Oh, no, the dialogue. Oh, ah. <laughs> <laughs> there is no dialogue. Only well, gameplay. <laughs> Not only lives the mysterious video wizard who can manipulate space and time. Point taken. Come on, Mel. The adventure continues. Right. That is the Burger King fight place. Oh, it just keeps going. Oh. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> we did it. <laughs> Dreamer Vision really do be like that sometimes. Uh, I... Yeah, that makes sense. You fight the bird to pass through to find Jody. Uh, wallet? What? How much cash in it so we can decide whether or not to return it? God damn it. Fire. Fire. <laughs> I'm just kidding, oh my god. There's next to doubt. Well, okay, if somehow belongs to someone mega rich, find your keepers. <laughs> Fair. Oh my gosh. This is actually Jody's wallet. Even better! <laughs> We're definitely held on her tail, uh, trail. That works regardless. <clears throat> Here, if Jody's nearby, I know how to get her attention. Oh, woo, it's me. <laughs> <laughs> if only there was a buff tiger girl here to tell me I'm fellas. Yep, guess we gotta keep looking. Alright, okay. what's this big disc on the ground? Don't cook it looks like an old warp out of me. If we stand on it, it should transport us somewhere. 
And considering this path is otherwise a dead end, I imagine that he must have already taken this thing wherever it leads. Well, wherever it takes us, I hope it isn't dangerous. And that this thing transports us there in one piece. It's probably safe, but whatever it takes that we better be ready for anything. Well, I guess there's only one way to find out where it goes. Mel, when you're ready, let's go. Alright, let's go. Let's see. Pew! <laughs> Looks like another dungeon. Yep. Celestial so Wasteland. Oh, I guess there's another save point here. <laughs> oh. Well, this sure is a change of scenery. Yeah, I'll say. Has this place always been like this, or is this more of Jeff's handiwork? Actually, I heard stories about a floating island somewhere near the Sapphire Islands. This might be it. You guys seriously haven't heard of this place? Haven't you lived in the greener like your whole lives? Pretty sure I'd remember if I knew there was a giant desert island in the sky near my hometown, Claire. Ditto. Okay, but we took a medium range for the porter to get here. We couldn't have gone to the fo that far. And why can't we see the ocean below us? Uh, no, no. I guess that's another mystery for us to investigate while we look for Jody. Well, I don't see Jody anywhere. Guess she's not here. Let's go back to the Amber Woods. What a wasn't that place nice? <laughs> okay, I know this is a lot now, but listen. If I was Jarvis and I wanted to hide from us, then this floating island we didn't even know existed would be the pretty smart place to hide. Don't you think? That's a good point. Okay, let's do this for Jody. Yeah. Oh, space ship. A car? <laughs> huh? There's no way this has been here as long as all this rusty junk. It looks brand new. Can I also just take a moment to add that it looks sick as hell? I wonder who it belongs to. Well, knowing how much money we make, I'm sure it's not Jody's. Who the frick are you? It's a bat. Oh, hey, another beast. It is a bat. Hell, it's wandering in Dazzle, eh? We're trying to find someone, actually. Yeah, you seen our friend Jody? She's big, strong, tall, and, uh, big? She's a tiger, and she's probably wearing armor. Ah, I can work with that. Yeah, I saw someone watching that description heading east from here. Thank you so much, kind stranger. It's a jack. And I'm sure we'll see each other around. <laughs> Boss fight! That's a big robot. <laughs> Another robot. This one seems to just be minding its own business instead of trying to kill us, though. Do you think you, do you, think you could be friendly? <laughs> I doubt it, but I also don't want to put in some random robot if this, is, if this one's harmless. <laughs> Huh. We also tried talking to another bird and that didn't really work out. <laughs> the screeching. Yeah, but we're supposed to be good guys. We don't some random strangers. Why not? Plus, maybe this one's seen Jody. Oh, because the robot still. looks cool as fuck. <laughs> Although, I've seen a lot of boss arenas and this looks like a boss arena. I'm yeah. sorry to bother you, mister. Have you seen a tiger around here by any chance? Exterminate. <laughs> Exterminate. Oh. Uh, hello there. Oh. General Kenobi. Uh, De destroy. <laughs> Pardon, is your voice processor glitching? De De <laughs> like, definitely? You've definitely seen a tiger? Oh, Melody, you innocent soul. Mel, no. <laughs> I think now is the time to run. It destroy. is destroy. Love <laughs> <laughs> you, innocent soul. You know, boss music <laughs> is nice and all, but. 
That's much better boss fight music. <laughs> Wait, is getting punched by girls so weird supposed to be a weird thing? Resist the fire, I okay. Know. I do enjoy it though. Ouchie. On a scale from 1 to 10, how hard do they have to punch? Yes. 11. <laughs> <laughs> Suddenly, though, my BF doesn't approve of punching me, so I'm just kind of like, come <laughs> on, just, 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 just give me a little kid. <laughs> oh, just break oh, my ribs. I'm looking up with the sad eyes. <laughs> punch me, please. <laughs> please punch my gut. You know we want it. And he just like looks at me like, no, I don't. <laughs> no punching the moves. But move. Border. That doesn't yeah. sound good. Oh, yeah, good move. To flex the boulder. To flex the boulder. Found me into a pool. Uh, he can't do that two, three times in a row, right? Watch Cause, them. <laughs> Cause I'm running oh. out of mana. Maybe yeah. you got to freeze off. Who knows? Alright, time to heal. Ah, <laughs> uh, yes. There's literally a single cave in every area in which this is the only place where monsters respawn. The more the enemies you defeat, the easier you will have it in the future. Uh huh. The stronger you get. Ow. Uh oh. See? <laughs> Fucking uh -huh. Claire is dead. Uh, just. Oh no. She's laying there in a Family Guy death pose on the sand. <laughs> in a Yamcha crater. Ah oh, no. uh, yes, Claire in the Yamcha death pose. Although watch Claire be revived and Claire just instantly gets knocked down again. Ah <laughs> oh, no, that's a lot of HP. That should be good. Okay. Ah, uh, so <laughs> <laughs> uh. oh, um. oh, ice cream. Another all of them. Oh. Oh. Uh oh. Oh, she's blinking. <laughs> I wonder if this game Why gives so many to fallen in the party row. members. Because it's a challenge. Yeah, this is supposed to be the the boss fight. What happens if mm. Allison is out with, after we beat this? I don't know. Some RPGs do it that you they don't get any XP, yeah? yeah. Uh, wait, you don't get experience if you're unconscious? Well, let's see. I think it's like in Pokemon. Oh, oh no, they, oh, oh, they get half oh. XP though. Ooh, that's still uh, a bit shitty. I see. <laughs> uh, it's still moving. Crap. Even mm. after all of that, how do we take this thing down? What do we do? Run? Hold on. What, what's what's up there? Jody. Ooh, I said her line. That's all I'm about. <laughs> Johnny! Claire, what are you three doing all the way out here? We should be asking you that. Can we catch up after the robot is dealt with? <laughs> huh? Oh, sure thing. I don't want to shot the robot. <laughs> oh. Here goes nothing. Never a tank. Doink. <laughs> Blue screen. <laughs> now where were we? <laughs> Johnny, I've never been so happy to see you in my entire life. I can see that. How come you were looking for me, though? Jody, you've been missing in action for like 24 hours. Uh, wait, it's been that long? Uh, I'm so sorry. I probably made everyone worried sick about me, huh? <laughs> we also found your wallet. Oh, I must have dropped that during the scuffle. Thanks. So, how come you skipped town, Jody? You want the lamb? Or maybe trouble in paradise with fate? What? No, 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 no. It's nothing like that. I know. I just haven't gotten a chance to teach you since yesterday. Faith told us you were investigating some monster activity and never came home. She sent us out to find you. Yeah, I tried texting Faith so she'd know I was safe, but I guess it never went through. 
No, it's it's not it's not addressed to you. There's some sort of electromagnetic disturbance messing with the phones and the internet back in Green Ridge. Wait, really? That doesn't sound good. Yeah, we uh, have a lot of catching up to do. Oh yeah. Ah uh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> wow, well, that's a uh, that's a lot. Yeah. We assume there's a connection between Chavez and the monster, as you saw. Do we have any leads? Uh, yeah, actually. Thought a suspiciously cloaked figure up here. Couldn't see their face, but there's a chance it was Javis. Like he has a face. We can definitely ask around and see if anyone knows anything about Javis once we've taken her home, though. Her? Her who? Glyph, the robot you were fighting? You mean you're gonna pick up that... Glyph, did that gizmo your friends told me to use work? You feeling better? <laughs> oh, hello there. Yes, thank you so much for revoting me. <laughs> I'm Aww. really sorry about my behavior just then. I wasn't myself. Someone reprogrammed me to hunt down any beastfold who entered the desert. Oh, um, it's okay. We're glad you're feeling better. Yeah, nice to meet you properly, Glyph. Okay, question. Glyph, are all of the robots around here normally friendly? Sadly, no. We've always had a lot of feral robots around these parts. And something seems to be agitating them this week, too. But yeah, my friends and I are kind of special, actually. Speaking of which, I should head home. Good idea. Let's head back to Mumford to regroup. I can take the lead if you three want. Actually, Mel's been taking the lead for us. She's doing pretty great, too. Huh? Oh, yeah, I don't mind staying in the lead. I mean, if that's not a problem. No, not at all. I can be oh. our rear guard. Seems like all that training has really been paying off for you, Melody. Hmm. Let's head back to Mumford, then. It's directly north of here. <laughs> Fourth wheel. <laughs> the, the fourth wheel. Fourth wheel. Four wheel drive. Oh, no, that's yeah. not that's it. Yeah, I assume the spike pit we saw earlier was for uh, exiting. Which level? Which level is Jody?